Thank you, everybody, so much. Uh, we don't know that Phil Collins song, though, unfortunately. Um, so you're, we you're, should, I know though. that drum, Phil. Do it. Wait, hold on. Do it. All right, hang on. Do it. Uh, That's what everybody wants to hear. What, what's the lyric before the drum, Phil, though? Uh, I remember. <laughs> like, remember <laughs> where we were. We yeah, straining than you and me. Yeah. Yeah. Drums are muted, but that was great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are muted? Yeah. yeah. There, well, did you do, do the fart drums? No. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't know that. What did I say? Did I say no? no. I'm at, I'm at, yeah. Go to our YouTube page, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, down below in the comments, put in which Risky Biscuit band member you'd most like growing out of your neck. I'm going to save Rashad. <laughs> you tell us. That was a Saturday ease in. That's what you call a blast, <laughs> blasting rope early on a Saturday morning. <laughs> uh, Saturday, it's like Saturday. A, that's like a wake up blasting, you know? Yeah, you still, still got your slippers on from when the you slept before. in that's, them. That's the, that's the blast that lasts. <laughs> <laughs> the one that the one that comes first thing in the morning. It's the blast that lasts all day. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, to, if you want anyone to show the world the blast of yourself, you gotta, you gotta make the blast of a good. Situation. It was oh, the best put... of times. It was the blast of times. <laughs> Everybody knows breakfast is the most important blast of the day. Yeah. You <laughs> gotta put your best blast. blast. <laughs> break break blast. A, your best blast forward. Uh, what did we call Rashad when he first showed up tonight? <laughs> oh, what did he say to us? We were like, what? No, we're like, oh, there he goes, big, big do. Oh, yeah, big do. <laughs> big do, what's up? I was like, what up, big do? What big up, do. big do? Oh, man. Oh, we have a, we have a Shad Names Your Pet. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, here yeah. we go. Okay, you're naming Ohert's, uh, it's a Shih Tzu Terrier Brown Long Hair. A long hair shits? Your, uh, your, uh, <laughs> listen, your, shits. your dog's name is uh, Motorboat McAssbutt. <laughs> <laughs> Shad names your pet. He names your pet. Shad names your pet. I'm proud of myself. They come over. <laughs> I'm reading some of the other ones I wrote down, and they're really, they're really good. So they I come hope over I'll... the boat and arrive at Ellis Island. They're like, oh, your name's too hard to pronounce. It's McAssbutt. No. <laughs> it's McAssbutt. <laughs> You're the McAssbutt. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> Motorboat McAss, but she packed my bags last night. Pre flying, she packed my bag last night. Pre flying, post fight. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm out the house. <laughs> she, she packed my bags post fight. Sleeping in the car, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping in the car, man. <laughs> Cop coming up with his big flashlight. <laughs> Sleeping in the car, man. Did you and the girl get in another fight? <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> you like know the police officer. Yeah. But. <laughs> What's up, Jim? <laughs> uh, yeah, Justin, I've been singing all day. I don't you, give a shit what you've been doing. Uh, well, you better. <laughs> <laughs> you, for all I care, your album could be Pip farting on a snare drum. <laughs> I ain't farting, farting on a snare drum, drum man. <laughs> <laughs> Dog just makes his own fart snare drum. Um, uh, Rashad, are you hitting A for me? Yeah. <laughs> Got, <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, we're almost to, we're almost to goal number two. What what happens at goal number two? Fucking hanging out too much, man. Go <laughs> shit. But it's like playing the lottery game, you know, like what would you do with a million dollars and we could just sit here and go on forever? A million dollars? Yeah, what if would you, you do with a million dollars? A million dollars. It's not as much as, as it used to be, man. It's really not. Dude, what are you gonna what, do with a million dollars? Buy a house? What what would you do with <laughs> what would you do with <laughs> thirty five <laughs> what would you do with thirty five point six million dollars? I'd buy a house. And then what else? I would start a local co op. And what else? Uh, and then I would give the rest to pro-union causes. Would you play the lottery again? No. Well, that's how you won the money. Yeah. You walk out of the casino, dude, after the jackpot. You, wa <laughs> you walk out. <laughs> you just... I would invest it in magic beans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many, though? Beans, I feel say. like I could get four or five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know a guy who's like, hey, whenever you have the money, I got the stuff. I'm saving up. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy your love. You buy a hundred thousand dollar cell phone and fuck off from everyone. That's funny. I love people. I'm trying. I'm trying to get closer to people. <laughs> I've thought of this, man. I actually thought about this. The first thing I would do is, uh, I would I would run for like city council member or something, and I would I would do some rezoning in some like local residential neighborhoods, and I would rezone areas from single family homes to multi 
to allow like multifamily units, right? And I would buy up all this residential property, turn them into multi units, just have them all be affordable housing, right? I would just price everything under market value and I do it under the umbrella of a nonprofit. Just to fuck them all over, dude. Just, well, just to, I mean, first no, of he's, all, he's yeah. talking about the opposite of a slumlord. <laughs> Being the opposite. Yeah, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be like giving back to my community by, you know, come lord. Uh, <laughs> providing affordable housing. But uh, it would also bring the cost of rent down in the area, yep. right? It'd be win win for everybody. I mean, except for like homeowners, but fuck the NIMBYs. I don't know about you guys. Well, they but... could all work at my co op. Yeah, and I, and I mean, I'm voting for y'all, so what's up? <laughs> Logan would just take it and give it to our campaign funds. Uh huh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in politics. I'd be a, on some other shit. As long as you guys would let me grow tomatoes on your property, I'll be all right with it. What you do is you bury it and then it grows into more money later. You guys don't know anything about investments. <laughs> <laughs> See, what you want to do is just get the money and then make the money magically yeah. from the money. You make your money, make money. <laughs> yeah. You just Isn't let that it, what money's you for? Take, you, you let take, it sit there. You don't do shit. You take, and then you other take people one, do stuff. No, no, no. What you do is you put them in a pen, a male rack and a female rack. <laughs> <laughs> you take the male money and the female money. <laughs> it's hard to tell what shame goes in. But you figure it out. You, you figure it out. You shuffle them like a deck of cards. <laughs> yeah. More money. Yeah, yeah. more money. You send, send your money on a trip yeah. to Jamaica. Adam Smith 101. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on the all expense paid trip for my money to go to Sandals in Jamaica and then they're gonna they're gonna fuck. Tomorrow is gonna be a Clark Howard radio show. He's like, there's a lot of misinformation <laughs> circulating around the internet sourcing from a single Twitch stream. <laughs> I don't wanna just let everyone know. And Magic you... beans are not a good investment, no matter how Good it sounds. I love Clark Howard, man. The tongue taco? I had never had tongue before. Lingua. Yes, thank you. That's Um, because we don't hang out enough, Logan. (laughs) (laughs) I've never liked tongue, man. I'm surprised that that you're able to get into that. Yeah, I I, I think it's great. I can't get over the concept. It's probably marinated in all sorts of juices, you know, and stuff. So you don't even know it's tongue by the way. It's doing what? It's actually spicy. But naturally, the tongue is spicy. Yeah, the tongue is spicy. Depends on what quadrant of the tongue is. There's a bitter side, there's a sour side, and there's a salty side. You probably ate the spicy. (laughs) You probably ate the spicy part of the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out that whole entire, like, map of the tongue is fucking fake, too. Really? Yeah, it's it's like all, all your taste buds can taste. All the tastings? But they're like, you taste sweet in the back, and then fucking sours on the sides. You know what it is? It's the big tongue corporations out there just trying to get mm-hmm. you to it's, it's buy big, more tongue It's, it's big tongue, dude. <laughs> big tongue. <laughs> big, big tongue. Big tongue. Big tongue. Big tongue. Oh my god, big tongue cork. First time on your stream and already loving it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, they, they just want you to buy more useless appliances and pastes. <laughs> <laughs> big tongue. I got, I'm getting big tongue vibes from you. It's Oral B. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Oral B. Yes, Oral B. Mm. <laughs> 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 fucking nerds. Never trust a body part that needs scraping. 